Good day. Today we are going to be installing a back rack on this dirty old Dodge I got here. It's a 2015 Dodge Ram, 5'5 five five box. And I'm installing the back rack that's got the toolbox accessory mount so that I can mount my toolbox in the back if I want. Well, I'm going to do that. I don't know. My old Dodge had a big box. Put the toolbox in this one, I probably won't have any room left in the box. But anyways, there's all the parts laid out. And we'll get started to mount this in the back. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut open the stake holder. I just use a Stanley knife in here. And you can see this template that was cut out in the plastic is wider. Now I get a nice big scratch in the box. So just be aware of that. You might want to just get the center as much as you can. The next thing that's going to happen is this bolt is going to go down in here and be mounted like that. I'm going to have to put a nut on the other side to hold that up. So drop that stakeholder piece in there like I showed before. You'll get the biggest flat washer, the biggest lock washer, and the biggest nut that's going to go on that. And don't tighten it down yet. This is a, you may have to move that around when you uh, put the mounts on. I'm going to cut this one out. This one I'm lifting up on this a bit. So I don't scratch my box up quite as much. If you had a drill, just put a good size hole in here instead. I was thinking about doing that, but since I cut the other side out already, I'll just do the same thing here. Okay, so that's out of there and we'll put the, the nut on there next. So, drop that piece in. Washer and then your lock washer. And try and feed that on there. Don't leave much thread. So, I'm going to put these mounting arms on, since these bolts are too long to put through the hole when you got this mounted to the cab, I have to put it on here first and then put this up on the cab. So take the big washer. On there, it doesn't quite fit over that. I guess it might pull down over that once you start tightening up. No washer, calls for a lock washer, but they've given us these nylock nuts instead. And the next thing is to lift that up under the cab. And put it over those previously installed anchor points.
working with the first rung here, it seems to be good. It's over the over the edge here, so let's flush the box. See how that tightens down. It's not quite wide enough to convert my stake holes. Cut out, so I'll just make it about half. And um, I think I'll cut a little piece of the rubber that came with it to just to fill in the gaps. Okay, so all I did is, since the cutout in this thing here was showing when this bar was on, even when I, uh, you know, find the halfway happy point on it, just to, to make the job look a little bit nicer, I put that piece of rubber that comes with the kit in here. I guess I could have gone more this way with it, then it'd be under that some more, but anyways, it just finishes off. You don't see that big hole cut out there uh, in the box liner anymore. If I was to do it again, I'd take a big bit and uh, just make a big enough hole for that bolt to drop in. And uh, hopefully you wouldn't see the hole at all that way. So the next job is just to uh, put the, uh, the big nuts back on that uh, hold the top to the box and sort of just center it all and tighten it right down. So we're going to tighten up the nuts on this. This one started. I'm using my trusty adjustable wrenches because I haven't got the sizes that they require. Even the small wrench seems to have walked off somewhere. I'm just going to start that one up. And then I'm going to tighten this one up first because it's just pulling up through the box. And you don't want to tighten that one up and then just, just rip up the box. Taking this one down. Just monkey strength, not gorilla. I'm gonna clean this one up too. That's not going anywhere. Nice quick job. Just uh, a note, I centered the rack before I tightened that down. And all I did was stand back here and get her centered between the two uh, white lights in the, in the uh, top light there on the cab. So it's pretty Pretty damn close to center doing it that way. And just make sure as you're tightening stuff up that you, your um, rail is flush with the back of the box is that's where you want it to be. Pretty quick installation. It didn't take me much more than 15-20 minutes max. Have a good day.